ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Still Speaks video, but you already knew that because you are so, so smart, and speaking to the smartest people, only the smartest people have hit that subscribe button, and they rang that bell, and they turned on all notifications, so they can be part of the hottest Supreme Commander 2 action that this channel has to offer, it's free for you, and it means the world to me, seriously guys, you have nothing to lose, and... Speaking of meaning the world to me, guys, seriously, click the link down below and check out my band's music. Listen to it twice on Spotify. That helps me out immensely. And if you want to help out somebody, including yourself, if you're interested in, if you're interested in getting good at Supreme Commander 2, Iron Commander has released his first, like, analysis. And that really goes over how he plays and gets into his head. He's, as everyone knows, he's a pro, one of the best players in the world. If you want to check him out, click the link down below and definitely, definitely subscribe to him. So seriously, guys, thank you for sitting through that. It means a lot. And yeah, thanks. So the map is Coalition Shipyard. It is a 1v1 map, and that is definitely what we have here. So let's introduce the players, shall we? Let's kick this back up to plus zero. We're going to introduce the guy to the north, and we got Mug and Ra spawning in as the red cyber commander, dropping down a whole bunch of eco, and then he's got a land factory queued up. Let's see who his opponent is and what his opponent is doing. We got Alpha Hex spawning in as the brown cyber commander, dropping down a land factory and then a research station. No. Yeah, research station. Quite an interesting opener. Probably not too bad because he knows he's against Cybern. Cybern don't typically go, typically go air. So he knows he's got time to put down an early research. So that could be really, really good or absolutely catastrophic. So somehow Alpha Hex gets out the first loyalist. I don't know how that happened. I think he had his... Well, maybe at his factory first? I don't know. Maybe I wasn't paying attention enough. So, Alpha Hex is making his ACU move right to the edge and building up on that ledge, which the ACU or, or any other... I think an engineer could do that, but mostly the ACU definitely could do that. So, he's going to turn around and build a land factory, plugging this way up. It makes it more difficult for his opponent to just rush through this area. Of course, they could still go through the backside, but right here, that's a no-go. Oh, but Mug and Ra is pushing in through to the side. So, we got a Loyalist invasion here. Nothing for the Loyalist to take out, though. So, this Loyalist is going to be kind of sad. Not able to take out anything. In fact, it's going to be met with a Loyalist behind a Mass Extractor. Because Alpex knows that that Loyalist is going to target the Mass Extractor first. So that Mass Extractor is being used as a bit of a meat shield. And who's going to win this one? And it looked like Mug and Raw wins by one hit. But that doesn't really matter because that Loyalist got easily cleaned up. So if you may have noticed... There's a lot of dancing there between the Loyalists. A nice little micro fight where Mug and Raw won, but Alpex was able to reinforce, so it didn't really matter. So Alpha Hex right now has two factories as opposed to Mug and Raw's three. Mug and Raw is putting down a research station as his fourth building. Pretty good idea building energy generators right there. Pretty good, pretty smart. Second up some delicious yummy yummy mass, Dat Masio. So Alphex is definitely doing some smart things there. Putting down Oh, that poor little guy is just stuck right there. Come on, Alphex, get out of the way. Stop trolling your troop, man. Um putting down some energy generators to make sure that enemy troops can't just run right through. They're gonna get they're gonna have to deal with energy generators. And I do believe Mungara is doing the same thing right here. Good ideas. <clears throat> Probably right there would be better. No, right here is good. Right here is good. Same thing on the other side. Yep. Yep. Pretty smart. Pretty smart. Alpha Hex has unlocked the Megalith. And he's building a 
land gantry. So we're going to see some megas probably. Maybe at least one. Muggenra is building up. No one's really wanting to attack right now. Muggenra is putting down a third research station. Too bad neither of them have airplanes to scout. So scouting would be good. Muggenra putting down a point defense? I, I think it's a... I don't... No, I don't know why this point defense exists. Same with that one. That's 400 mass. That's like two factories and part of a research station. I can't tell you that I agree with these. I know he's expecting, you know, loyalists to try to rush through. I don't know if that's the right move, though. Alpha Hex putting down a... Definitely helping out with this megalith. Yeah, that megalith is cooking. It's going to come out. And I don't think Muggenra has anything to deal with it. I think Muggenra thinks he's safe. Thinks his opponent... Because he sees a bunch of units massing here. I think he's got... Yeah, he could definitely see at least to right here. So he's seeing a bunch of units mass right here. So Muggenra thinks that's all that it, that's happening. So Muggerob feels like he's safe to build all of this. <clears throat> Energy generators. Not really building anything to counter a megalith, though. This mega's going to be uh, quite the pain for Muggerob. Muggerob is... He has to know something's up. That formation has to tell him that something is up, so... A radar installation, pretty good redundant radar for Alpha Hex. Not a bad idea whatsoever. Redundant radar, it's a cheap building. And if you lose a radar, at least you still have a radar. So now Muggeron knows that Omega is on the field as Muggeron is trying to build Omega of himself. Okay, he's got another one. Okay, I was going to say if his, why isn't his ACU building that gantry? Nice control there for for Alpha Hex, putting his troops in front of the Megalith. Nice, nice target. Taking out at least one research station. Good move there. Definitely a good choice of targets. Yeah, now units are starting to drop like flies. Getting hit with Brackman fire as well. Definitely not ideal for Muggen Ra. Muggen Ra is a bit behind on the tech, despite having four research stations or five. Or well, had. Ooh, baited out a structured Deto. Nice dance there for for Alpha X. Now, Muggen Ra brings out a Mega, and Alpha X is deciding to attack the flank. This is going to keep the Mega from being able to do a substantial amount of damage. A second Megalith is coming out for, for Alpha Hex as Alpha Hex tries to assail this area. But Mug and Rob was smart enough to build energy generators in front of said point defense. A Megalith goes down. Nicely done there by Mug and Raw, taking out that Mega. Alpha Hex taking some damage. Winning the Mega fight over here. But will this Megalith survive? Alpha X repairing it. Mug and Raw re retreating. Alpha X taking out some mass extractors, energy generators. And he got that point defense. Nicely done. Oh, didn't even see this put down. Mug and Raw needs to know this is here. But I don't know if he has anything to deal with it. We got some Salem classes coming out to do some work. Will this mass extractor go down? And yes, it's done. Alvex loses those units. He's in danger. Alvex is saying, I'm in danger. Hunkering down. Nice. Smart move. Because Mugger Raw is automatically attacking. And, oh, that poor little... Oh, that engineer barely survives. Energy generators must need more energy. Yeah, I don't think those Salem classes are cheap.
Yeah, suck up the delicious yummy me mass, that mass you always so I saw Alpha X suck up that delicious yummy me mass of that Mega. Alpha X is really dancing with danger by keeping his AC right out there. Repairing Megalith's smart move. There it's like it only costs energy to repair in this game, so that's a good move. Mug and Raw has to see these suspicious looking blips on the radar there. So Mug and Raw is down two mass extractors, so that's gonna hurt. Wow, that's a takes a long time to repair these guys, huh? Yeah, the repairs take a real long time here. Alright, so the Salem class taking out another mass extractor. Mug and Rod down three mass extractors. About to have core mass extractor extractors in danger. So Mug and Ra is has researched the cicada. Is there a cicada in being cooked? Yes, there's a cicada right here. Yeah, cicada in this one where my curse is going over. So a core mass getting destroyed. That is completely significant. Down four mass extractors. Alpac sucking up delicious yummy yummy mass. Is he good? Oh, he's going to take that mass. Should have built on top of the wreck. Nah. Probably too risky for Alpex, but taking away the 50% build bonus and build costs was a good move. Attacking this energy farm here is a good idea. Mug and Ra able to take out these Salems here, so that at research station survives. Yeah, these boats are now in danger. Not doing a significant amount of damage to the power grid, but doing damage nonetheless. Just This has just got to be annoying for Mug and Ra to deal with. Finally, some air power going on to the field for, for Mug and Ra. Alphax gets his own air force and a cicada. So, Alvax is in a lot of trouble. That Cicada could really change the, the tide of battle. But a Cicada pops out for Alvax just in time. But Alvax losing a significant number of Megaliths. Why is Mugenra retreating? I don't know. Mugenra needs to turn around. He should not be retreating. Why is Mug and Ra retreating? He's got the absolute advantage. Okay, I mean... I guess he just sees the radar blips and doesn't realize they're all they're mostly cicadas, so... Yeah, that's gotta suck. Could've won that right there. I love how Alphax is sucking up delimish, delicious... Delicious... Delimish, delicious yummy yummy mass and repairing his units. That's the mark of a pro right there. Making use of the resources he has. Lazy engineer though. Don't like it. Don't like it. Yeah, Megalith getting a free kill. Never good. Now Alvex could put legs on these guys. Is he even building? I don't know if it's building. I don't think it's building. But puts legs on those guys and they could walk out and start riggedy wrecking things. For cheaper than a megalith. <clears throat> yeah. That megalith is getting wrecked. No, guess not. Guess not. I don't know how this game is going to be tipped on one side or the other. But Mugger Ra has re-saturated his mass extractor, so that's good for him. Alpha X not building any more small units. Same with Mugger Ra, the regular units are not being built except for airplanes on both sides. No ships being built.
For some reason, Mug and Raw's units are not retaliating. There we go, Mug and Raw is finally retaliating. Mug and Raw is losing a significant number of units though. Alvex hasn't used this, lost a single cicada yet. Wow. Yeah, Alvex needs to press his advantage. Just keep pressing. It's it's pretty much over. And Alvex decides to build a long range artillery station and to target this single little engineer who is probably shouldn't be there. Bombers, good move there. Not killing the Cicada, though. Alphax responds with fighters of his own. And Mug and Rob building long-range artillery stations of his own. One being destroyed before it could be done. That's going to be a significant loss. Yeah, now it's going to be an artillery battle. This is a crazy battle on kind of a small map. Did Alvex win air? One, okay, he has two air factories. I don't know how Alvex won air. Probably fighting over more, oh, there is anti-air here. That's why. <clears throat> and Mug and Raw control Cade. Probably the, the you know, I, I wouldn't want to, I'd rather him try to fight this out, but he saw the writing on the wall. There was a lot of trouble coming for him, I mean, look at that. That's a that's a scary army. If you don't have anything to fight this off with, that's a that's an incredibly terrifying army. And being pelted by like four, going on coming in, into five long range artillery stations, that's a fun. While being bombed by fighter bombers and then being attacked with Salem class, not a fun not a fun experience, I must say. I mean, that is well and truly defeat. Right there, right? So Mugamroth fought valiantly val, val, valiantly against Alpex, did a really good job, but ultimately Alpex was able to out-tech him and really control this fight quite well. So very well played there, Alpex and Mug and Raw. Awesome, awesome job. You guys are amazing. So did you guys know that Alpex has a YouTube channel? Click the link down below to check that out. He just released a meme. Uh, memeing on the Aeon race. I think he's going to meme on all the other races or, or you know, factions. Factions are what I'm going to sell. Memeing on the Aeon faction. So he's going to meme on all the factions. I'm pretty sure of that. So, you know, Alphax is, a, is the, the Supreme Commander, to, the resident Supreme Commander 2 meme lord. So, you know, that's what he's known for. That's what he's good at as well as being one of the best players in the world. So, Give him some love, guys. Click the link down below and comment his videos and subscribe to him. And be sure to subscribe to Iron Commander and Sapphire High Noon Yasuho. Very good players. Definitely, definitely worth your time. So yeah, guys, like this video. Subscribe to my channel favorite because that helps me out. Send your replays to steelspeaks.gmail.com or do like Alpha Hex did. He joined the Supreme Commander to Discord server. Just kidding. He made the Supreme Commander to Discord server. And he either uploaded this replay to the hashtag replays for Still Speaks and then added me, or he found me and in, in direct messaged me. So that's those are the things he did. So there's a lot of replays to be found, a lot of great people to be found on the Supreme Commander through Discord server. So definitely check it out. Q Alpha Hex's ad now. What? You still haven't joined the biggest Supreme Commander 2 Discord in the world with over 1,000? Uh, 2,000? You have General, Hall of Fame, all the YouTube channels, all the YouTube videos, streaming, uh, don't, don't worry about that. Ask for some help, post some memes, send some replays, find a game, dead chat. We even have a channel for all the Xbox Subcom 2 players. So what are you waiting for? Click the first link in the video description or just type Supreme Commander 2 in this thing that nobody will ever use. You should join now! And did I mention Alphax sent me this video? Thank you for sending me this replay. It was a fun one. A lot of experimentals. Hopefully those at home enjoyed 
watching the experimental bites. That was really, really cool. So, yeah, guys, be sure to comment down below. Say something new. Say something new. Say something nice about the players, about the game, about the experimental fight. Just say something kind because we all need more positivity in this world. So be sure to do that. If you like what I do and you want to support this channel, the Patreon page, click the link down below and get involved with that. A big shout out to Alpex and Sapphire High Noon Yasuho, my remaining patrons. So thank you guys for keeping me motivated. And a big shout out to Iron Commander, who was a patron for a very long time. Definitely check out his YouTube channel. Check out Alphax's YouTube channel and Sapphire High Noon Yasuho's YouTube channel. So definitely be cool and do that. You will be very happy you did. So yeah. If you don't like a monthly subscription and you don't want to spend, you know, money every month on this, but you want to support me, Click the link down below and check out my band's music. You buy it wherever music is streamed or sold for like a dollar for, per song. You could definitely do that and that would help me out. Like Amazon Music, a Apple Music, whatever. Or you could, you know, buy it from Bandcamp.com. You could buy my entire band's discography for under $3. It's 90% off. We want to give you guys a huge discount so you could own it if you so please. And if you don't want to spend any money, I completely understand. I get it. Times are hard or you just don't want to do it. Whatever the reason. You don't have to tell me. I don't care. It's all good. You could check out this, my videos. Watch them all the way through so that it helps out the algorithm. Like the videos. Share them with people who like this stuff. And comment. Those are things, those are ways to support me without paying a penny. And you want to support me even further, it would really mean the world to me if you check out my band's music. Listen to it at least two or three times on Spotify all the way through. Add it to a playlist. Share with people who like that style of music. That really, really helps me out a lot. And you can subscribe to my band's YouTube channel. Watch some of the videos all the way through. Like them. Comment them. Share them with people who like that type of stuff. That, those are things that really, really help me. So yeah. Please, do that if you are so willing. Thank you guys for listening to all of that. You guys are amazing. I appreciate the people who watch my videos and my fans. I appreciate you all very, very much. So yeah, I think it's time to end this. Share with your friends, family, and foes. You can need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, G, G.